So we look at question 16. This is an algebra question. Given that a minus b is 3 plus square root 8, b minus c equals to 3 minus square root 8. We are asked to find the value for this expression. This is quite a common expression that we found in Math Olympia. We recognize that a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca is equal to a minus b squared, b minus c squared, and c minus a squared, and times half. Uh, we can check it and see that when we expand it, you have a squared and a squared over 2 a squared, b squared, b squared over 2 b squared, c squared, c squared, c squared over 2 c squared. And you have negative of 2ab over 2, negative of 2bc over 2, negative of 2ac over 2. With this, we can have an extra information that if abc are real number, this is always greater than or equal to 0 because this is a sum of square number. So what we have right now, it is half a minus b is 3 plus square root 8 square. b minus c is 3 minus square root 8. Square. C minus A, we can get it from here. If we add it together, we have A minus C. If we add together, we have A minus C and we have 6. C minus A is therefore equal to negative uh, 6. But because it's squared it, whether it's write it as 6 or negative 6, there's no difference. So we just need to calculate this simple expression. 3 squared. 3 square, we have double of 3 square. Square of square of 8, that is 8, and we also have 8 here, so plus 2, 8. Um, we have 2 times 3 square of 8, but here we have a negative 2 times 3 square of 8, and it will cancel off. This is equal to 36. Um, so finally, we cancel everything by 2, <clears throat> so this will be 9, 8, and 18. So this will equal to 35. This is the answer for question 16. Question 20 is a rather simple question. Given that x is a positive real number such as x squared equals square root of 3, this expression can be simplified as x minus 1, x plus 1, x plus 1, minus x minus 1. This is 2 over square root 3 plus 1. x minus x cancel off, so this is 2 x squared minus 1. Minus 2 over square root of 3 plus 1. So this is square root 3 minus 1. Minus 2 square root 3 plus 1. We can combine them, so you have square root 3 minus 1. Square root 3 plus 1. 2 times square root 3 plus 1 minus 2 square root 3 minus 1. 2 square root 3 minus 2 square root 3 cancel off. 2 minus negative 2 is a 4. And this is a square minus b square. And you have 3 minus 1. That is 2. 4 over 2 is 2. And the answer is 2. Question 21. X is a real number such that x cubed plus 1 over x cubed equals to 18. What is the value of square of x plus 1 over x? Notice that x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is equal to x plus 1 over x. x squared minus 1 plus 1 over x. x squared plus 1 over x can be written x x plus 1 over x squared minus 2. So this will be minus 3. And it is equal to 18. Now we may let x plus 1 over x equals to a. So from this uh, expression, we know that a, a squared minus 3 equals to 18. a cubed minus 3a minus 18 equals to 0. Note that when a equals to 3, this is 27. This is 9, this is 18. 27 minus 9 minus 18 is equal to 0. So, a minus 3 is one of the factor. This is 
power 3, power 1, so this should be a squared. Negative 18, negative 3, this should be plus 6. So we still need to find out what is the coefficient of a. In order to get a negative 3 for a, this is 6a, outcome is negative 3a, we need to have negative 9. This is negative 3, this is plus 3. Uh, we can check for the coefficient of x squared. For x squared is nothing, and when you expand it, this is 3, this is negative 3, and it's equal to 0, and that's right. So a equals to 3, or a squared plus 3a plus 6 equals to 0. And for this, we can check the discriminant, that is b squared minus 4 AC. So this is 9, 24, so this is negative. There's no real solution for A for this quadratic equation. So therefore, A is equal to 3. A equals to 3, this is equal to A, and therefore, this is A squared, and it is equal to 9. So the answer for 21 is equal to 9.